I think I chose the worst day to go to a Whole Foods. It is gloomy, miserable outside. Everyone's probably shopping, wanting to pick up some food. Plus, with the Toyota Corolla disease, I think everyone's like reverse mortgaging their house so they can stock up their pantry. That being said, as you guys know, I usually have meat from Frankie's Free Range Meat. I buy stuff from local farms. But some days, you know, when I'm traveling, when I can't get my hands on any food, or you know, when I don't want to drive further away to get higher quality stuff, Whole Foods does have some things here and there that I do deem acceptable. So I can get a non-perishable meal that I can have in my car before I go to the gym. And then I'll also get something that, um, that I can have later for dinner. Granted, I don't get arrested for choking some of these middle-aged housewives that get their panties in a bunch just going food shopping. As you guys know, I don't really have anything against organic produce, fruits and vegetables. Okay, if you tolerate them, just fine. Definitely a bit expensive from here. One product that Whole Foods carries that I really like is their wild caught frozen seafood. It's somewhat affordable. You know, this is only $13 a pound for wild salmon and it doesn't have any additives. You know, as I said, it's wild quality. It's good stuff. You have salmon, cod. Uh, the Arctic char is farm raised actually. Tilapia is farm raised. I want to stay away from that. Haddock is, you know, very similar to cod. It's slightly more affordable. Uh, but one thing I really like is the frozen shellfish. Uh, by far the most nutritious out of all of this stuff, uh, especially something like mussels. And this is so cheap. 0.75 pounds of mussels for $5. This is amazing. Wild quality shellfish, super nutrient dense, super cheap, super affordable, even at Whole Foods. This is, this is an amazing dinner. Uh, so we'll get some of that. This is squid, mussels, scallops. This is a mix, I don't really want that. So we'll get the mussels today. And one thing I was looking for was the shrimp, and I think they have some over here. So they got the wild caught Key West pink shrimp. They have some farm raised shrimp, we don't want that stuff. Coconut shrimp, flavored shrimp, not sure if that's wild caught. So you can get the larger wild caught shrimp uh, that are a bit more expensive, and these also have the shell on. I like the Key West pink shrimp because these are nice and small, they thaw really quickly. And this is $20, only $10 a pound for wild shrimp. Really delicious, super high in cholesterol, super nutritious. Shellfish, seafood, great bet. So, so the mussels will have another day. I think I'm gonna have the shrimp tonight. If you're on the go, the smoked seafood is probably the healthiest option you can get. That being said, it's also the most expensive. Now I'm not gonna spend you know, $10 for half of my lunch, a couple bites of salmon. Uh, a lot of this stuff isn't going to be wild quality. Uh, but look, here you have, you know, some more mussels, $5 smoked mussels, really cheap, really affordable. Um, I might actually get these instead because I can eat these in the car instead of cooking these later. So I'll get these too, the smoked mussels. Uh, ooh, this looks even better. Garlic and parsley. You know, this probably tastes a lot better. Oh, but here's the problem. See, sunflower oil, we don't want that. So never mind, we can't do that. Actually, then let's double check if there's sunflower oil in this. I didn't check. Oh, there's soybean oil. We can't get any of this. Okay, so I guess I guess that's a no-go. That's why you always read the ingredients. It's a shame, you know, that this this stuff can be really, really tasty, but they package it in vegetable oil. Uh, the caviar, you know, if they have salmon roe, sometimes it's an affordable option. Uh, this is $12 for two ounces of salmon roe. Uh, we sell eight ounces for like $36 on Frankie's Free Range Meat. So this is super expensive in comparison. Uh, this white fish roe is a little more affordable, but this tastes much better. So again, you're on the go, you wanna splurge a little bit, super nutrient dense. I have some of this at home, so we don't have to do that today. So, so we have the shrimp for dinner. Sometimes I would get a pound of like grass-fed ground beef instead, which is reasonably affordable. But sometimes Whole Foods will have, you know, grass-fed ground beef. But all this pork is like low quality stuff. So uh, unfortunately the fresh meat at Whole Foods usually isn't that good of a quality. Bison steaks, those are usually pretty expensive. Decent quality though. Everyone's in such a nasty mood today. I don't know what it is. So we could get some raw butter, raw cheese, but I haven't been doing dairy lately. Uh, we could get some like pasture-raised eggs, some egg yolks uh, to put on our meat. But you know, the eggs from here aren't the highest quality and I'm trying to keep my omega ratios in check. Uh, that being said, I think our next stop is gonna be the deli meat counter uh, to see if we can get some prosciutto or something to eat in the car. Uh, just for some more protein and some more calories. 
So they're actually sold out of most of the butter. They have some Kerrygold here, they have some Schmore, but uh, you know, a lot of this other butter's sold out. I don't see the New Zealand brand here, which I usually get. But you know, this is nice. Um, if you tolerate dairy, if you want some decent stuff. You know, if you're not allergic to dairy and you really enjoy milk and you want something on the go, something like that might be okay. Organic grass-fed milk. So we're not doing dairy today, but of course raw cheeses are one of the best and most nutritious options for, you know, quality fat soluble vitamins on the go. Now, a lot of these these meats you don't really want because you know that's obviously feedlot quality beef pork and chicken but you know the prosciutto and the serrano ham is usually decent hey what's going on can i get a quarter pound of the prosciutto so we're just gonna have a quarter pound of prosciutto and then i'm gonna see if i can get some canned seafood to have with me in the car uh, so we can balance the omega-3 to omega-6 ratios in the meal like there's another whole foods that i go to sometimes they have more of a selection of meats yeah i mean the mortadella isn't the end of the world um pastrami corned beef i mean you know prosciutto probably the safest bet from like a negative standpoint of what can be put in the meat all this other stuff definitely full of chemicals atrazine antibiotic stuff you don't want a lot of the time it's not necessarily looking for the highest quality or most nutritious thing to incorporate into your diet it's more about figuring out what doesn't have anything negative added to it uh especially in this case no that's it all right thank you yeah, take care. You know, I would definitely say it's a priority to not poison yourself as opposed to, you know, worrying about getting some more nutrition in. If you guys like blueberries, these are by far my favorite brand. The sweetest, best for pies, baking, whatever it is, recipes. So normally I would have to get like some water, but I do have some in my car. And there are also a couple things here and there like, uh, like butter, clarified butter, mustard, certain seasonings that I do already have at home. So... You know, something like this, this would be great to pick up on the go. You know, imagine if you got like a pound of raw ground beef, mixed in some pasteurized butter, that, that'd be a perfect on the go meal. High quality, nutrient dense, minimally inflammatory. So I, I really like the ghee, the clarified butter, all that stuff. You can use it on the go, you can use it later, but you know, just for one day, you know, that's a high price point if you're just traveling through or passing by. This is something that you would go through in like a week. Again, emphasis on organic grass fed high quality. So this is why I came over here. Hopefully they have the brand I like. I don't see it. So this is where it's sold out. Mussels and Escabeche. This is like really, really, um, really, really delicious product they sell from that company, but they, they're sold out. All right, here we have smoked oysters, hand-packed in olive oil. This is probably what we're gonna have to get today. I'm really disappointed they didn't have the brand I liked. Uh, a little upset about that, but. So this is Crown Prince smoked oysters hand-packed in oil. Yeah, I mean, if I felt like salmon, if I wanted salmon, you know, all, all these cans of salmon, that type of stuff is great too. That is my favorite mustard brand. So for, you know, if you want to put mustard on any of this stuff, uh, that's what I would get. The only ingredients are like mustard seed, vinegar, sea salt, very natural. Oh wait, they, ha they have smoked clams and olive oil too. Do I want clams or do I want oysters? You know, I think I like the clams more, which has more calories. I guess we can get one of each. We'll get, we'll get the clams and we'll get the oysters. We'll try both. Even though olive oil isn't the best option, you know, the water tastes so much worse. So it looks like that's going to be it. Uh, there's actually some, you know, more seasonings and some seaweed over here you can get if you want. There's like fish sauce, coconut aminos. We have, you know, the, the kelp, the kombu, the seaweed if you want some iodine, but we already got our our seafood, our shellfish. So on the go, I would grab a bottle of water. They do have cases up by the front if you want, you know, a case discount. Garrel Steiner, it's a bit high in calcium for me. It doesn't really sit well. Uh, the Topo Chico, it's from Mexico, and I don't, I'm not joking, you're being mean. I mean, this tastes like dirt water to me. I don't like it, uh, but th they're both decent quality stuff. Usually I'll opt for the Mountain Valley sparkling water. Uh, that's what I've been doing lately. Saratoga is good as well, and the Starkey's good stuff too. Um, th those are the brands I've been sticking with. Uh, everything else is either in plastic or uh, cardboard container. I'm sure some of this stuff is okay, but um, that's just what I'm rolling with. And depending on how strict you are with your diet, you know, you could have some really enjoyable stuff. You could get some sourdough bread, uh, some raw cheese, some high quality prosciutto, make a really, really nice sandwich. That sounds great. Uh, unfortunately, Frankie Boy does not tolerate that type of food. 
so we're staying carnival. Keto has been uh, mainstream for a while. Got to stuff people full of that estrogenic feedlot bacon. All right, thank you. Take care. So we have to take $10 off because we're not going to eat all of that shrimp at once. And we might actually only eat about a third of that shrimp. Uh, but even so, you know, we're spending, you know, $25, $30 a day on food for one day. And that's definitely at the high end of most people's budgets. Now, you know, we spent just, you know, $15, $20 on lunch alone. You know, each of those cans of seafood was like $3 or $4 and the, the prosciutto was $5. So, uh, you know, I think $15, $10, $15 on, you know, prosciutto with canned seafood for lunch is, uh, it's perfectly reasonable. Uh, especially considering what people spend on their lunch usually. And in this case, you know, you're not buying, you know, crappy low quality stuff. You're buying wild quality, organic, nutrient dense animal foods. I need to get a, uh, I forgot to get a fork for my, uh, for my food. Now, if we were to just get prosciutto, we would have spent about 25 bucks. And I think that's perfectly reasonable considering, you know, the budget that most people have on food per week is around like 140 and 150 dollars i think a realistic minimum day of eating at whole foods i mean even if you bought two or three pounds of ground beef you're going to be spending like 20 bucks and then you could add in the frozen mussels so if you really wanted to you could keep this below 20 dollars. you know frozen mussels less than five dollars a pound ground beef six seven dollars a pound you can't afford that you probably shouldn't be uh following this diet and of course, we can't forget that Whole Foods is, you know, whole paycheck. It's pretty overpriced. So I'm sure if we did this in another supermarket, it would have been like $10, $15 cheaper. So normally I would eat like just when I wake up before I left for work, but I actually didn't get to bed until like 7 a.m. today. I know it's, it's already in the morning. So I only got a couple hours of sleep and I just like ran down to the shop. So we have the, the smoked oysters. I'm just, I'm just, I'm still salty. They didn't have... You know, this company, Rio de Rosa, sells uh, mussels in escabeche, which is like an olive oil vinegar sauce. It's so tasty. Um, I might do that recipe for you guys. So what you want to do is I want to save this box so we could put the dirty can in there. I don't think I've ever actually had canned oysters before. I've had canned mussels, though. There we have our oyster. Oh, yeah. Nothing wrong with that. I don't really like oysters that much. Fresh, raw, but these are pretty good. Amazing source of copper, zinc, vitamin B12, omega-3s. Oysters are definitely like top three superfood on the carnivore diet. Tiny amount of olive oil. Not really concerned. Even like a small amount of soybean oil or cottonseed oil. Arguably better than eating feedlot beef. Hopefully the clams taste a little better. You know, they weren't, those, those oysters weren't bad, but definitely make my own better. These are just so expensive, you know? It's it's literally like $4 for, literally $4 for a little tin of seafood. Maybe we'll get these on Frankie's Strange Meat for cheaper. Ooh, these smell good. They're a lot tinier though. Little tiny baby clams. Oh yeah. I don't know if it's because I'm Italian. I've always loved canned seafood, particularly shellfish. You know, a lot of people say like, oh, nose to tail, nose to tail. Like that stupid nose to tail phrase that they stole from a uh, famous chef, Fergus Henderson. This is basically the same thing. You're eating a small animal entirely. Same thing with salmon roe. And definitely go for the baby clams. Oysters are okay. Still not enjoyable, definitely better. B vitamins, iodine, selenium, omega-3s. Don't go kissing your boyfriend or girlfriend after you do this. I just got fish oil all over my shirt. No point in crying over spilled fish oil, but it sure does stink. So now we're gonna have some prosciutto. Just a quarter pound. Guys, one time I bought like two pounds of prosciutto and I ate all of it. So now I restrict myself to a quarter pound at once. So I don't die from a sodium overdose. I guess it isn't good prosciutto, but 
It's still prosciutto. <laughs> Who doesn't love salty pork fat? But you guys see the contrast, right? High omega-6 pork. This is mostly for protein and calories. And the seafood was high omega-3, a lot of nutrients. All right, so in our bag, we still have the, the mussels and the shrimp that's frozen for later, for dinner. Oh, this tiny is not my day, man. Fish oil all over myself. Now I look like I pissed my fucking pants. What do I do? I smell like and fish god damn it. guys better like the video aggravating myself beyond that i'm pretty close to the gym over here so i'm actually gonna i'm gonna go work out now so i don't have to come back out later and then we'll go home and eat again i just got home and to no surprise my car smells like fish some type of weird smoked oyster so hopefully that smell goes away tomorrow uh, so we're gonna Go inside, steam up some shrimp, and uh, call it a day. Got my secret drink fermenting in my dehydrator. Here we have the wild shrimp that we picked up. And I'm just gonna put about half the bag, which is a pound. Put this on like a medium high heat. And even though these are frozen, we'll just steam this for like 10, 15 minutes and they'll be nice and rare. So I'm not really that hungry, and even though this plate of wild shrimp is only like three to 400 calories, I think it's all I'm gonna have tonight. As I showed you guys earlier in the store, they have like organic grass-fed ghee. You know, if you put a few tablespoons on this, that'll add a lot of calories to the meal. And in general, I've noticed that, you know, I can kind of taper the calories down a few days out of the week and still maintain, you know, my strength, my size, uh, the performance in the gym, all of that type of stuff. It's just when you restrict calories, you know, for a prolonged period of time, that's where you start running into issues. So as long as you're getting some high quality protein in, some nutrients, don't really worry too much about the calories. But if you do notice a drop in performance, if you notice you're not as strong in the gym, that's where you can say, okay, let me increase the calories, whether it's fat, protein, or carbohydrates. So hopefully you guys learned a little bit today. Uh, as always, thank you guys for joining me. If you could please like the video, subscribe, of course, hit that bell icon. Above all, guys, share the video if you can. If you guys do want to support me further, you can check out Frankie's Free Range Meat for high-quality animal foods. You can go to Frankie's Naturals for minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products, and frank-stefano.com for a free carnivore diet meal plan. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.